Shalom, giving all praise to you, Hal Bashim, Al Shah Bashim, or Kaku Dash Shalom to the 144,000 rest of your letter. Shalom to you all. And I'm going to entitle this uh, video Lunar Eclipses can, o can Happen Only During a Full Moon. Lunar Eclipses Can Happen Only During a Full Moon. I'll read that again. Lunar Eclipses can happen only during a full moon. When the moon and the sun are in on opposite sides of, the, of Earth, meaning the Earth is in the middle in between the, the sun and the moon, at that point the moon can move into the shadow cast by Earth or the Earth resulting in a lunar eclipse. However, during most full moons, the moon's slightly tilted orbits bring it above or below Earth's shadow. So when a uh, lunar eclipse occurs, it occurs during the full moon. When you go back to the to um, the Passover when Yahweh Shai our Lord and Savior was taken by the uh, Herod and the Romans it was really it was the, the, the Herod wanted him him to uh, to get rid of him so he can be the king it really, when you want to get technical, it really wasn't about the Romans. That's why Pontius Pilate said, look, with this guy, I, I find no fault with him. This was a, a thing with um, Herod, right? Give me, uh, let me see. Give me a second here. So you got Bishop Nathaniel clearly going off. Because he says a new moon is on the full moon. Well, wait, wait a minute. Yeah, I was shy. Just uh, sat down and and ate with the uh, with the apostles. And that night they captured him. And uh, they they brought charges against them. And that next day, they crucified him. And it was dark for three hours. That could only happen on a uh, a lunar eclipse. But what about a solar eclipse? A solar eclipse does not last three hours or more. It lasts. They just had. We just had a solar. We just experienced a solar eclipse a couple of weeks ago, and it lasted for about what ten minutes. That's the difference between a solar eclipse and a lunar eclipse. So any of you window shoppers from IUIC that's watching this video, you you now know that uh, the new moon is not the full moon. Now let me do this. According to this secret window on the US debt clock it changes from time to time it's saying that silver is going to go up to 200 then to 211 then I believe 223 and then 233 $233 per ounce of silver and then um, they're going to suspend uh, uh, the money system they're gonna that's when they're gonna have the reset according to this so the elite they're telling you what's going on and this is only for the the uh, insiders any goddamn way so give me a second
which one of the Herodians were in power when Christ was put on the cross? Her Herod Antipas. Because his father or grandfather, I believe it was his father, Herod the Great wanted, you know, he wanted him dead as a child. So it was Herod Antipas that was the, the head, the chief family member of uh, the Herodian dynasty that wanted it. It was, it was actually the Herodians. It was the Herodians. It was um, the men of war, which are the the army of Herod or Herod Antipas. Herod, men, I'm sorry, that I didn't want this. According to Britannica, Herod the Great was king of Judea from 37 BCE to 4 BCE, appointed by the Roman Empire after its Senate equipped him with an army to fight off a Parthian invasion. Prior to the invasion, he had been governor of Galilee since 47 BCE. Herod's men of war. Bear me for a minute. Let me do this here. And even Herod and his soldiers ridiculed him. The Romans, nope. The Romans ultimately put him on a cross because the authority was given to the Romans soldiers to put him on a cross. But they were, they were, there was just a sentence. But it was the... Uh, Herod men of war that beat him and mocked him. And Herod with his men of war personal army set 70 AD the kingdom of Judah was fighting against the Romans and Herod's men of war, his own personal army. And Herod with his men of war set him at naught and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. So who beat him and put put a crown of thorns on his on his head as a crown and spit on him and mocked him? and put a purple robe around him and then sent him back to Pilate, jurisdiction. He was under the jurisdiction of Herod, which was a king, which was a king of the Jews. 
and they were only supposed to do so much to him, beat him down, and then, okay, send him back to Harrod. That was uh, giving him to another juris jurisdiction. It's no different than somebody robbed your house, you beat the shit out of him, your family beat the shit out of him, and then after you beat the shit out of him, then you call the cops, and now the cops can deal with it. So when he, so when he's under the jurisdiction of that city or whatever, or that town, or that township, they got that in New Jersey, you tell them, this guy, you know, we got it on camera, he came to the house, we beat the shit out of him, they're not going to arrest you for assault. They're going to take him in, and then he's going to have to come up under their jurisdiction. And your, every man's house is a castle, right? So that's, that's why they say in, in law, you know, if you got a, a, you know, the gun laws, if you got a gun in your house, if you're in your house and somebody comes in your house, you got a right to pop them a couple of times. Inside joke. And that's what normally happens. And then after the guy's ble bleeding all over the place, you call the police, you explain the situation. They come peacefully. They don't arrest you. You say, I got it on, I got everything on camera, got cameras all in my house. And they show the guy, you know, breaking your door down or whatever. And you, you know, hitting him, <laughs> hitting him with the ooh-wee. And so they take him in the ambulance, but they cuff him up. He's in the ambulance, but he's cuffed up. Then they make sure he's well, then they bring him before jurisdiction and they notify you as witnesses. You go to the court. And now if you kill him right then, then, then you're going to go to jail. Because it's, it's no longer under your jurisdiction. Let somebody come up to my house uninvited. And I have power over them. You're going to go into beast mode. And you're going to kill, you. Your, your mind is to kill him. I will kill you now. So I'm just, I'm all over the place. Because you, to see the Romans, see? The Romans, they put a, mocked them and they put a purple robe and they No, it was a, it was a personal army of, of Harrod Antipas. Negro. So I just proved to you in the first part of this video The loony eclipses, which when Yahweh Shai, and even even these idiots, even Esau, they'll sometime they'll tell you that there was a lunar eclipse during the time of, of the Messiah when he was on the cross, and some of them will say it was just it just got dark. Remember, the Most High makes things dark through uh, taking away light. Signs, the moon, the sun, the stars are for signs. The main source of light for signs, for signs or omens, is the moon. So, you window shoppers out there in the IUIC that that's following Bishop Nate, you're you're keeping the new moon on the wrong day. I'm throwing it out there to the other leaders in their school. And you got a, a, a job, a duty to tell him he's going off. And if he keeps going off, you're supposed to leave him. If he start teaching Edomites can be saved and he start let, letting actual Edomites up in there, and you stay up in there, then when when the Most High destroys y'all, he's going to destroy He's going to destroy you. He's going to destroy the work of your hand. Ecclesiastes 5. Matter of fact, let me do this. Anyway, I, I didn't want to make this long. So stop teaching the Romans did this and the Romans. The Romans didn't do shit. He was already beat down by the uh, Herod's uh, Antipas personal army. 
men of war for you dummies out there. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.